was just surreal. It was such a surreal moment that um, that I that I went through, and um, I suppose there's a little bit of really I'm that guy. Like I had a stroke, you know. As soon as I got up, I fell right under the desk, right here. And that's when I looking at my arm and my leg in the same field of vision and thinking I can't move these right now. So I'm having a stroke. And so I knew I was having a stroke at that moment. And the chief walked in the door and, she, <laughs> and I won't use the expletive that she used, but she walked in the door, she goes, what, what are you doing, right? And I looked at her and I went, rawr, 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 rawr. And she went, you're having a stroke. I said, yeah. I owe, at the very least, I owe the quality of life I have now to Regents Hospital, to health partners, to Dr. Hussain. Oh, hey. I really enjoy what I do. Uh, I'm a stroke neurologist. We always quote a study that uh, estimated that for every one minute, the stroke treatment is delayed. About 10 million neurons, 10 million brain cells die. Uh, so we are uh, fighting the time. Dale was uh, fortunate and that he called for help right away. And of course, he was brought to the hospital right away and he came in the perfect time. We want to see patients as early as possible and he came early and that helped him. My kids are probably um, irritated with me because I hug them way more now than I have ever hugged them before. There by the grace of God go I, right? I mean, any day could be your last day. And so um, I, guess I, feel, I guess I feel that way.